Okay, I got the pick guard from my guitar, and I've painted it the same color as the body, but I want to give it some movement. I want something different on the front. So I'm going to epoxy resin art the front of this, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, I got my pick guard down here, and I've got it raised up off the table on some little wooden blocks. Uh, I've got my epoxy resin. Now you get this at um, any hobby store. It's not that I think these two bottles are a 16 ounce kit. It's like 15 bucks, and I've got uh, some uh, metallic purple, Aztec gold, and some uh, black cherry mica powder, like I painted that with. So I'm going to mix up this epoxy resin and the colors in some cups, and then uh, we're going to go from there. Okay, this stuff mixes up one to one, same amount of one, same amount of the other, and um, you want to mix it up for at least three to five minutes to make sure that there's it's not cloudy, um, and just mix it up till it gets clear. So let me mix this up, and I'm going to mix up my colors, and then show you what I got. Okay, I've mixed up my epoxy. There's some uh, black cherry. And I got a little bit of purple. And some Aztec gold. Now, first of all, what I want to do is I want to take my tack cloth and I want to wipe all the dust off of it. Now you want to make sure it's level too. Alright. And you take your clear and pour it on. Now take your heat gun and go over it and it will pop all the bubbles in it. Now I'm going to take my black cherry and I'm just going to go over it. I'm going to take some of my purple I'm take my heat gun, make sure the fan's all the way up, and just blow it around. I'm going to take some of my gold. And then take the hair dry, the blower to it again. I think I might just mix up a little bit of blue and put in there and uh, see if I can dress it up a little bit. Why don't I mix up a little blue, see what that happens. See what happens with that.
I think that looks pretty cool. Anything else, I'm just going to go over it a little bit and try to pop any bubbles that are in it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box cover right here and I'm going to cover it. Let it sit till tomorrow. And we'll come back and see how it turns out. Okay, it's the next day and my pit guard is dry and I, th I think it turned out pretty good. Look at that. Well, you can see it because of the glare. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to sit down on the body see what it looks like and I haven't wet sanded the body or anything so we're just going to hold it up and see what it's going to go. Now I think that's going to look pretty good with the color and everything and you know, liven it up a little bit give it some motion it's going to be all right I think. So uh, that's it for this right here as far as epoxy and resonant and uh, it's really simple to do just some epoxy and some color and a heat gun you can use a hair dryer uh, but I like it uh, I might get another one and do one more that way I can have two of them and I might do the next one with just the uh, black cherry mica powder 